Okay, this process is almost done. I don't know if you can see that, but whenever you see the ball doing that, that means that it's almost done. Now this process can take, once again, sorry, can take anywhere from um, five to 10 minutes to get set up. And once again, I, the only thing that I can possibly say is don't be disencouraged because uh, it is worth it. However, the reason why it does take that long for it to set up, as you can see, the um, is because of the fact that more than likely the as great as an Apple product is, and this is this is the easiest way that I can explain it to you, and I know that it's not technically correct, but it was the way that it was explained to me. Um, the logic board has the ability to read two different things. One is its own date when you turn it on. The other is the date of the software being installed. Now, sometimes when the dates are wrong, which it will be because of the fact that this uh, MacBook Air uh, came into me with a um, bad battery. Whenever you remove the battery, kind of like factory resets the, the um, computer or the laptop. And um, once again, the bubble is uh, the beach ball that goes around, around, around. Very normal. Okay, obviously you can see this. Now, here's what you want to do. Before you do anything else, you want to go ahead and check and make sure that the date of the laptop, not the date of the software, because obviously you can see the software there, not the date of the laptop is correct. So what you want to go is through utility and you want to hit terminal. And, and this, just so you know, this will affect your installation of the, of the software. And what you would want to do is you want to go ahead and go right there. Uh, and I will go ahead and type it out for you. You want to hit date. Just type it, date. And if you don't see it, it's because you didn't click on it. My meaning I didn't click on it, date. You want to click on where you want to write. Um, okay, and you want to hit enter. And look at that, it says 2001. Well, obviously it is not 2001. So what we're going to go ahead and do is and part of the reason uh, for, for a lot of you, if you're having a tough time formatting your drive or uh, thinking that you formatted the drive, but then it didn't install correctly, it's not your fault. It's not, it's, it's the logic board reading the date and then trying to put a software that came out in 2010 on a system that thinks it's only 2001. So the first thing you want to do is, is obviously, um, and military time is your friend in this case. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put date. In order to change it, you want to hit date. And today being the, uh, it's Mother's Day, May, um, May 14th at around 8.40 in the evening. So technically 8.40 would be 20.40. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit 805. Um, which is the fifth month, one four, which is the 14th day. And then, like I said, 20, 40. And then you want to put in the year, which is one seven. Okay. But make sure that you write that date in there. Okay. See that date. Okay. Date zero five one four two zero four zero. One seven. That is going to be, and then what you want to do, just hit enter. And see, right off the bat, it changed your date. Now it says May 14th, 2017. So now you can go ahead and close out terminal. Okay. This is very important for those of you. And this is mainly the, one of the biggest reasons why the, um, the hard drive doesn't format correctly when you're not using an Apple laptop. Um, you always want to go in because you can format it using any kind of software that you want. You can even Mac journal it if you want. However, when you put it in the hard drive, I mean, when you put the hard drive inside your laptop, the reason why it's failing, failing to install the software is because, first of all, you format it outside, but then it's dated wrong. So, you can go ahead and close this. Uh, this was a very, very big problem with El Capitan. A lot of people noticed that problem with El Capitan. 
And so they had to come up with a fix, and this was the fix, but it works on every single one of them. So, um, and then what you would want to do is go to utility. This time you don't want to go to your terminal. You want to go to your disk cleaner, which, I mean, disk utility, which is your second option. And then you're going to get this window. This is where you get to format. Okay, so once you've changed the date, you want to go ahead and format your drive. And you see this right here? If your hard drive is not seen here, that means that there's a problem. There's a problem either with your um, flex cable or with your hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and figure that out and I'll be back.